To a layman, analytics can be defined as the analysis of data to draw hidden insights to aid business decision making. Applying the concept of analytics to human resources, we can be able to have a data-driven approach to managing people at work. By extension, analytics is becoming a critical skill that all HR professionals must possess. Knowing fully well that Excel is a beginner-friendly HR analytics tool. Out of the various uh, complex HR analytics tools, Excel is the most basic and it can also be a complex analytical tool that will be useful on your journey to HR analytics. Today on HR Insight, I'm going to be doing a compilation of the, some critical Excel features that is useful for HR analytics. Let's start by mentioning the ability of Excel to help us with HR data analysis. Why the buzz around HR data analysis and Excel? Data analysis is taking raw data and creating useful information out of it. And when it, we now relate this to human resources, we are talking about HR data analysis. The data that we are trying to get useful information out of in this regard is human resource data. It is the people data, the talent data, the workforce data, the employee data. And in trying to draw insight and useful information out of the employee data, the simplest tool that we can use to do this is our native Microsoft Excel. Interestingly as well, Excel is a very useful tool that can help you to create HR reports by using simple Excel charts and graphs. What are some of those uh, critical data visualization options in Excel? We're talking about Excel chart for HR report. The first one that is very critical is the use of your column or your bar chart. This is usually used when you need to do comparison. Another critical Excel charting option you need to get familiar with is the use of your line chart. Your line chart is very useful when you need to show trend with time, trend over a period of time. Then your pie chart. Your pie chart is useful for proportion. Okay, so now that I'm done uh, with each of the charts, I can now take this into uh, a PowerPoint slide or an ex on a Microsoft Word document. So let me, as well as doing complex uh, HR dashboard using Excel with me. Now so for let you me to be able to it. create a dashboard in Excel, there are some Excel uh, features that you must get familiar with. And for what you're seeing on the screen right about now, uh, this is an ex a pivot chart. Uh, these two are Excel pivot chart that is tied to a pivot table. But if you're already familiar with using Pivot Table, then you can go ahead with the video. Now we're going to be using Pivot Table. We're going to be using Pivot Chart to create all we have on the screen. And interestingly, we have a slicer. This you have here is a slicer. For you to understand the way slicers work, if I click in here now, can you notice that something is happening on the data in, on the screen? Now this is showing the numbers of uh, the finance department for the organization, their age distribution, how many are they? You can see 11, the average age is 44, 13, then the numbers. If I go to another department, production, production seems to have the largest number of people in this organization. We have 57 uh, in the organization, 40 average age, 11 average length of service. Now, what I've done here is what we call a dynamic HR dashboard. Now, when you now start to look at the complex spectrum of HR analytics, then you now start to look at the Excel analysis tool pack. Uh, Excel best kept secret to be able to do this is the Excel analysis tool pack. The Excel analysis tool pack is an Excel add-in uh, program that provides data analysis tools for financial, statistical, and engineering data analysis. Interestingly, I'm sure uh, going through these three major Excel features would have opened your eyes a great deal. I'm going to be dropping link 
to the full video on each of these areas in the description and also in the card above so that you can be able to catch up on all these various areas i believe that if you're able to dedicate enough time to mastering each of these excel features then you would be a data-driven hr professional